It has been almost two years since an outbreak of tornadoes swept through North Texas. For storm victims, every day since then has been a struggle to get back to normal. But as Marisa Vedra shows us, we start to actually see the growth. It's incredible how much it's changed. There are very few original owners still around. Connie and Pete Moss have called Rowlett home since 86, and they saw the city's biggest change the day after Christmas, 2015. We got went downstairs and a little tiny bathroom down there, and that's where we sat while that was going on. They consider themselves lucky. The tornado largely spared their home, but their yard and the block never looked the same. Everything was lowered. The sky was there where it hadn't been because there was no tree cover. That started to change last December with the help of 200 volunteers and a local nonprofit. We planted 245 trees at 137 home sites, and that work occurred in five hours. Brady McGann is with Retreat, which plants trees in areas stripped of nature by natural disasters. Every 15 minutes, you know, a dozen trees are going on the ground in a community like that. It's really an incredible impact to watch happen. <laughs> the mosses got this Schumard oak. I'm thrilled with it, and it's giving our yacht a little bit of color. It's also brightened their spirits. It's a recovery feeling. So you can see they're going and they're growing. We need it a lot, but this is a nice morale builder. Retreat will return to Rowlett and Garland next month to plant another 100 trees. <laughs> One of those will go to the mosses. You're going to have to water again. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. In Rowlett, Marisa Vedra, Channel 8 News.